Today we're in Kent and we're looking at a new winter wheat variety called Wolverine. Now what's special about this is BYDV resistant. That's barley yellow dwarf virus resistant. It doesn't just affect barley, unfortunately it affects wheat as well. Now in the past we've had seed dressings and sprays to control this disease, but last autumn Deter, which is a neonicotinoid seed dressing was banned and we find that the autumn sprays of pyrethroids are not so effective on controlling the aphids which spread this disease. So this is a real breakthrough for the breeders. The first variety, as I said, that's BYDV resistant. This is a seed crop that's gonna be producing C1 seed and then the farmer here will be growing it again to produce C2 seed. So the variety will probably be widely available next autumn. There'll be limited amounts this autumn. Um, but let's have a, a chat with the farmer, um, Edward Batchelor, to see what it's yielding, because I understand it's, it's, it's yielding above 10 tonnes the hectare. What's Wolverine yielding? Um, anywhere between 10 and 12. Uh, in places it's doing slightly better than 12. It's coming in at just over 13% moisture. With a uh, specific weight? 79.4 uh, and just under 11% protein. So this is a BYDV resistant variety. It's the first one we've got. I mean, how, how useful would this be on your farm? Of course, this is a seed crop, but how useful would it be if you were growing commercially? Uh, we haven't never suffered badly with BYDV, but yes, it could be a very useful thing in the future, especially for drilling early with um, the near nicotine dressings and that being banned. And we're here in this field, you've got a big field of wolverine and some gleam on the outside. I mean, this was the only wheat field you got drilled last autumn. So presumably this is a sign that it was, it was very wet here last autumn. Oh yes, very wet. Um, this was the only crop that we, uh, winter wheat we got in last year. Mm -hmm. 